Hi everybody, it's Mr. Reister, and I'm here to show you how to fill in this uh, instrument loan contract if you're in band. I'm going to wear my uh, Captain Grandpa hat today because it's Monday, uh, September 21st. Oh, it's my wife's birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. A few of you know my wife because you knew her from Park Brook, Dr. Reister. Yeah, she's a psychologist. Okay, so um, parents and students, this is for you. Um, so you can't get your instrument until you get this filled out, students and parents and families. And so like, like do this right away, do this right away and email it back to me so that um, come next Monday, September 28, I can give you the instrument because we can't we can't give you the instrument till this is all filled out. Okay, so this is just the name of the student. If uh, the kid's name is, you know, Rashid Walker, you just type that in there and uh, it doesn't work. Uh, you, you can just you can just click in there and type and some parents and students have figured out a way to like you know use handwriting in there and that's fine too however you fill it out is fine um, the instrument um, if you know what instrument you're playing you can put it in there like clarinet trumpet or whatever but you don't need to uh, the number um, for some people will be the same as last year but for others it won't be so don't put the, di the district number on it I'll, I'll fill that in I can fill in the instrument too you just need the name of the kid really <clears throat> and then be sure you read this you're going to keep the instrument in good playing condition, you'll trigger when we when requested. Also, if you have to pay for repairs, if you misuse it or neglect it or run over it with a car or whatever like that. Um, this fee thing here, almost none of you will have to pay a fee. Um, like maybe one kid at Northview has to pay a fee. So just ignore that. I'll discuss that with the family. They already know how to do that probably because they've done it in years past. This is an important box. If you are on free or reduced lunch and you need a flute or a clarinet or a trumpet or a trombone or percussion uh, or a baritone from the school you can get it for free um, but the parent has to check this yes box and then sign here so that the school can verify one part of the school has to talk to the other part of the school and say yes they are on free or reduced price lunch and if you don't sign there parent then uh, that can't be verified and the kid can't get an instrument okay um, if the student is not on free or reduced price lunch, the school will not lend them a flute or a clarinet or a trumpet or a trombone. A baritone can be rented and percussion equipment can be rented from the school if the student is not on free or reduced. <clears throat> but the other instruments cannot be. If you're not on free or reduced price lunch and you're going to play flute or clarinet or saxophone or a trumpet or trombone, you need to go to a music store and rent it personally from there. All right, student signature. Um, for signatures, by the way, you can just type. That'll just have to suffice for now. So parent signature, you can just type your name if you want to, parent. And student signature, you can just type your name. Or if you can figure out a way to write it, so much the better. Uh, parent garden signature again. So please sign twice. Parents uh, guardian street address. That's where you live. That's where you live. Daytime phone for the parents, please. Uh, email for the parents. We have the student's official District 279 email. We would very much like a good email for parents. Director signature, that's me. Check number or cash. This is for the director to fill in only if somebody's paying a fee up here. So most of you will ignore the check and cash thing. You can put the date in there and, and the MS is fine for the school or I can fill those in too. The main ones you need to do are the kid's name, parent's name here, uh, type it or sign it. Check the yes box. Student signature, parent signature again. Uh, address, city zip, daytime phone for parents email for parents. That's really all you have to do. And then get it back to me this week, please. The sooner the better, man. If you can get it back like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, that would be awesome. We need to get this right away. Thanks so much. See you again soon.